Niggas so damn fit like they both talks. Both talks. Roll up, roll up, roll up. And you've been listening to, well, Melody King by Opet Teflon, aka Teffy, and he's here in the studio with Olive and I today to discuss his music, his perseverance through Nigeria's extremely tough music industry, and exactly where he's headed. Thanks for joining us. How are you doing today? I'm good, thank you. How are you? Good, thank good you. you. Good, thank yes. you. Do you always look this dapper? Uh, I, I try to be. I try to be. On Mondays or every day? On Mondays. <laughs> you seem like a very shy person. I'm so, not shy. Tell us, are you a shy person? Are I'm you not, I'm not shy. Because you find that a lot of people who are in the music industry, they have a persona on stage mm. and the personality that they actually really portray to their friends and to their families is totally different. different from what they have on stage. I'm so tell us, <laughs> you have a separate personality on stage where Beyonce has Sasha Fierce. I think I think I have. Oh, that's a good one. Like, do you have an alter ego? <laughs> no, I don't. I don't. I don't have an alter ego. I'm the same guy, same guy all the time. Fair so enough. My music, my music speaks like the kind of guy I am. Fair so enough. I'm a pretty chilled guy and just I like to relax and you know take everything easy. Okay, we're going to go through a journey of your music um, in the industry to discuss your perseverance. But to get there, we have to start from the beginning of your story. So I'm going to need you to tell me exactly what led you to get involved in the music industry, where your passion stemmed from, and how it's going. Um, what made me start was um, I just had a passion for recording music, and um, I always used to enjoy, you know, listening to guys like 50 Cent, Wyclef Jean, you know. And um, that, that gave me an impact to decide to take it up on my own. And, you know, when I was younger, I used to do poetry and, you know, write poems, you know. So it's always been something I've been affiliated with. So now that I'm older, I realize that oh, now I can start producing music myself. So it's what I really want to do, you know. All right. Okay. Now I just found out that he's an IJGB. For those of you wondering what an IJGB is, it's an I just got back. So how long have you been back for? Uh, I've been back in Nigeria for a year. Okay. And yeah. how has it been for you? It's, it's been a good experience, you know, meeting new people and um, seeing how the country is. Was it difficult for you to maintain um, your music being abroad? Have you found it easier to work on a lot of your content since you've been back? Um, it's, it's not the same because, like, when I'm in England, there are guys that I can literally just call any time to shoot a video. But like in Nigeria, it's so much different, like so many processes and everything. But at the same time, it's, it's just about adapting, you know? And like, I'm trying to adapt here, you know? So obviously in England, it's more convenient. I can't lie, but at the same time, the stress in Niger is part of the fun, you know. I know, right? <laughs> what would you say has been the most stressful thing for you since you came back to Nigeria? Some people would say it's the weather, some would say it's the traffic, some would say it's the food. So what would you say has been For the me, it's the heat. It's the heat, man. I can't deal with heat. I literally hate it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, it's literally melting. Yeah, it, was, uh, yeah. Even as, as cold as it is in here in the studio. <laughs> but we understand that it's, it's, it's a change of weather. Yeah. But if, if you had the opportunity to do anything differently since you came back, what would you say you do differently? What I would do differently? I would have prepared myself better for a night. But at the same time, the thing is, I was, it's not like I'm coming here for the first time ever. It's just that I came here for the first time in a long time. So, and I was much younger when I came the first time. So when I came back, it was like so many things are not the way it should be. But at the same time, we just adapt. That's what it fair is. Fair enough, fair enough. Now. Let's move on to speak about what you've been working on lately. Uh, you have a new single that's out with Baj, you've been doing your thing, and quite frankly, a lot of people out there are kind of like, hmm, who's this Teffy guy? You've been around for a while, but you're really and truly giving yourself a trademark in the industry now. What has it been like, and um, how's the response been to your new single? Uh, I just dropped a new single called Gyrate with Budge, and uh, people are showing love, you know. It's on radio, it's on TV, it's on... Um some radios on different blogs, you know. So it's kind of like feel good kind of song. It's like a heartbreak song, but in a mellow way. So heartbreak, hi heartbreak, mellow. I'm talking about, <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking about how a girl like how we're in a club and there's this girl I really like, but she's not, she's not about that. She's not about love. She's just about having fun and everything. So I'm trying to convince her to love me, you know. That's. Basically, what the song is and about. And is that a song written from personal experience? It's based on a true story. <laughs> <laughs> most of my songs. It's are, okay, your secret is safe with us. Most, and most and, and um, 50 million other people <laughs> watching. <laughs> yeah. 
But most of my songs are like personal experiences and things that uh, other people go through as well. So that particular song was um, more of a personal experience. But it's like when I when people listen to it, they like they can relate, you know, because. Most, most times people think it's the guy that it's not about the relationship, you know. But sometimes it's actually the girl. Yeah, it actually is. Leila, has it, <laughs> has it happened to you in any... You know, in has times? what happened to me? You know, a situation where you had to be like the one stalling and somebody wanted to be with you. See, eh, the day that that one happens to me is the day that I know that I am completely done with men. I, in fact, I think that day has already come and gone and I've forgotten. But really? no, it hasn't actually happened to me. What it hasn't happened you? to you. Um, you know, honestly, I feel like, yeah, actually, it's happened to me where somebody really wanted to be with me, but I didn't want to be with the person. I wasn't sure. Oh, when what? someone wants to be with you yes. more than... Uh, uh that one is a common thing now. I thought you meant where <laughs> no, that, a guy that's, is that's stalling. Normal, I mean, in the sense that, like, she likes you, but, but she's she about the she doesn't want to commit. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Where you yeah. like the person, but you don't want to be in a relationship, but you just. Has it ever happened to you, Leila? You know, Olive. <laughs> <laughs> Olive is trying to catch me out on yeah, national TV. She's trying to catch me out, and it's not going to happen. I'm coming back to you, Teffy. So, what can we expect from you in the next, let's say, a year or so? I'll give you a year because you've been back in Nigeria for one year so oh, far. Yeah. Well, within the next year, what I'm trying to do right now is um, I'm trying to release the music video for Gyrate with Butch. Butch is a legend, by the way. Like, I really love Butch in the sense that his music inspires me. Like, people know we're friends, but, like, she's, like, a year older than me. And, like, you know secondary school now, when you're a year older than someone, they're, like... Yeah, much older. It's a big deal. <laughs> one year. You know, the one year, so, one year is enough for me to beat you. If I just so, put auntie on my name, I'm know? telling you. <laughs> So, like, that's how it was. Like, I've known him for years, and I've always looked up to him in music. And the way the song actually happened was crazy, because we're, we're in one of my friend's birthday parties, Fresher, and um, one of my guys was DJing, Wayne. And I was about to drop the song, and I told Wayne to just play it again so that we can see how it sounds like with big speakers. And Budge literally just came into the room. I was like, what song is that? And, I was, and Wayne was like, it's Teffy's song, you know? And Wayne was like, I'm jumping. Budge was like, I'm jumping on that ASAP, you know? So it was like a testimony at the same time. So it was dope how it happened. And what I'm dro dropping next is the video. That's the next step, you know? So after the video, I'm going to do like a couple more songs that I have in stock. I'm going to release them and release some new videos. Who would you say really inspires you, though? If you could give us one person that is your greatest inspiration in the industry, who would it be? In the Nigerian industry? Mm. Or worldwide? Either. Worldwide, my biggest inspiration is probably Drake. Okay. Um, the, the reason because he's like an artist that has been consistent over years. Mm. And he's um, able to merge with different age groups. Mm. So that's, that's kind of what I want to do, you know. I want to I wanna add things that to show people that this guy went to school. This guy is not just one guy. Just trying to sing what he wants to sing. Like, I want to sing stories and explain to people that this is what the song is about, you know. Fair. So, and yes. in Nigeria, last one? In Nigeria, this is my biggest inspiration. In I Nigeria. am. You know, it's okay if you don't have In Nigeria, I, I have inspirations in Nigeria. <laughs> But um, they they top they top guys, you know, like David and Whiskey, you know. Fair enough. Inspire, inspire inspire the youth to like do. Fair that, enough. You know, you can achieve because those those things. are the guys at the top, and the the other guys like um, like part of ranking that appreciate the kind of music they do, you know. Fair enough. So guys. Okay. Like that. Okay, well, it's been an absolute pleasure having you join us today. Jairay is out now featuring Bodge. You can stream it across all platforms. That is Teffy's piece of work. And trust me, I've listened to it. It's good music. But aside from that, coming back after the break, Olive and I are going to be taking you through today in history. Quick one, how can people follow you and find out more on social media? Uh, you can follow me on Twitter, uh, uh, official Teffy1. Okay. Instagram, Teffy Teff. Three Fs and... Um, Royal Sound Music I, I, um, dot com. Royal Sound Music dot com. Okay, so Thank official so Teffy One on Twitter and Teffy Teff on Instagram. Royal Sound Music is the name of the brand. Thank you so much, Teffy, for joining us I on appreciate the show you today. Guys. Thank yeah. you. To enjoy more of this, our Ubunke videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. 
you go love her. 